good Sunday morning. Thanks for staying with us. And if you're just joining us, we have been on air for two hours now with extended coverage of Tropical Depression Florence. And so we are enjoying a brief break from the rain here. Just a slight breeze coming in here in Franklin County. So overall, not too bad right at this moment, but that could change very, very quickly. So we've been here in Troutville for a good portion of the afternoon. There is still an active scene going on right over my shoulder. That is Westview Drive, and that is where a man has barricaded himself inside of a duplex. We have just gotten an update from state police that duplex was empty at the time. Fireworks are set to start around 9.15 tonight. So grab your lawn chair, grab a blanket if you want to sit on the grass. Right, and as you've been showing us this morning, there are already those little pockets of very heavy rain mm -hmm. coming through. This is just the beginning for us. The government reports the U.S. economy is growing at its fastest pace in four years. We've just learned two of the boys trapped in a cave in Thailand have been rescued. There is a river back there, but we are actually on a roadway that's completely washed away by the Blackwater River. We are on Blue Bend Road here in Franklin County this afternoon, and I mean, this is honestly probably the worst of the flooding that we've seen here in the county. This changes rolling into the region. Ah. Sunshine. Lower humidity. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. yeah, I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. Getting so, outside, enjoying. Mm -hmm, so am I. My hair really needs a break from the humidity. I know, right? Mm -hmm. I can't even imagine what you go through on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> Gosh. A lot of hairspray. I know. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, the environment, man. <laughs> Thanks, Christian. You're welcome. The countdown is on. Street Pub is back by popular demand again this summer. And although it may not look like it yet, Deschutes is getting prepped and ready for a very busy Saturday here in downtown. Florence is showing no mercy to North Carolina, that's for sure. The storm is being blamed for at least 12 deaths. Louisa County officials say a giant Confederate flag visible from an interstate highway has to come down because it violates a zoning ordinance. Right off of School Board Road here, which is right off of Route 40, behind the sheets, and this road here is closed off for a very good reason. You can see behind me all of this water coming through from the Powder Mill Creek. And Christian, you've been saying it all morning long already. Today is the day to get out and do an Anything because we're expecting more changes. The U.S. Embassy in Haiti has a warning to Americans this morning. Do not venture out into the streets of the country's capital. A well-known building in downtown Roanoke may be getting put to new use. It was a lot of fun. The show was great. I am jealous. I really wanted to go, but I enjoy sleep. So I do too. I think you're running on like maybe two hours of sleep. Um, There's you have coffee no idea. and no idea. No energy idea. drink. Uh, I, I don't know how you're doing it. <laughs> For the people. That's yeah, yours. we still got another another week and a half or so to go. We're finishing out the month of July with mm -hmm. these hometown adventures. So lots more fun to be had. We're catching out here. fish, flying high above, Ooh, paddle know. boarding. And um, what we're, you got we're today? going off the water a little bit next week, so Ooh. that'll be fun because it's something different. But tease. today we're talking about um, this really cool, new, unique business on okay. the water. I met this guy. His name is Austin Bailey. He's only 24 years old. That's young. Entrepreneur. I'm literally so impressed by this young man. It's not even funny. And he started this business with the hopes of helping keep people safe while they're out boating. All right. You got my vote. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> it's. he says it's something that's not being done here on the lake so we're going to take a look at what he's doing awesome. he's got a vision for you know Very keeping good. people safe and he's take he's taken that he worked at a marina all last summer he mm -hmm. says he's been on boats since he was like five years old so you know he's very accustomed to especially being out here on smith mountain oh lake. yeah so he's just trying to do his part and making sure everybody's having a safe and responsible time while having a good time so if you are coming out here to jake's place or if you are going to be participating in pirate days and you're like hey I live right on the water, so I want to have a good time. Get home call, safe. I'm going to call this kid up and have him take me home. We're yeah. going to post all of his information on how you can do that up on our website, WDBJ7.com. This is what the Finks saw outside of their home last night. We did leave last night. We have a camper out in Athematics at a campground, and so we went out there and stayed last night, and we're prepared to leave again today if necessary. This family is still recovering after a tornado destroyed their Amherst County home in April, and now they're dealing with the threat of flooding while they stay in Lynchburg. That's where it really flooded was up there. Lisey Fink says the water probably got close to four feet high as they watched from their balcony. Fink has been keeping everyone up to date on social media with their progress, so when she realized just how close they're living to College Lake Dam, she decided they didn't want to take any chances. 
as much as you know, I was trying to convince the kids that everything was safe and we're safe. It it definitely was a little, you know, I had something in the pit of my stomach that said, you know, just make sure you're safe. But when asked what it's like for her family to go through this again, she says she's more concerned about others today. We're fine. We're safe. But I I know how it feels to have your home destroyed, and I. I feel terrible for those people. And after facing their own devastation, Lisey Fink says the people here in Lynchburg will come back stronger from this. You're going to see resiliency in our community in the next few days that we've never seen before. Caitlin Francis, WDBJ7. Worm and Bobber? Yeah. It's a whole different world. Okay. <laughs> Travis Patzel is the owner and captain of Cats and Stripers Fishing Charter at Smith Mountain Lake. He's been fishing forever and turned it into his career. You don't normally get mad at your boss, <laughs> but I do love it. Uh, it's just, it's a passion, that's what it is. It's, uh, I mean, I love every minute I'm out here. So he's showing me everything he loves about his job, and we're going fishing. Most important question is who is, who's catching the fish? Someone's got to reel them in. Hopefully me. Okay. He uses these little babies to catch the bigger babies. Come on, babies. Gotta talk to them. And I'm reeling them in. But let's take a second here and be real. Watch. I go from thrilled to get my first catch ever. Yep, yeah, that's a sad looking face there. Captain Travis just told me the fish I caught is going to die, and then there it is. That's the face of terror as a fish flops out of my hand. But man, was it fun. We couldn't throw that one fish back in the water. It was already going to die. Captain Travis says the combination of hot lake water and the fight of reeling them in stresses fish out. But normally, with most big fish, it's catch and release. I'm all about protecting the big fish. That's not for stripers, that's all big fish. Um, trophy fish always release. Catch release is big on me. Um, the Smith Mountain Striper Club, they're doing great. Uh, trying to release, catch, uh, trying to promote catch, catch your limit and quit, go fish for something else, go swimming. But, he says, even though sometimes it takes a while to find those sweet spots, the reward of hooking one nice fish, even if it's just to throw it back, is worth it.